We're going to do 1543. So take a peek at it, ladies and gents. Open up to 1543. We have a NO gives us N2 and O2 gases. Now, to do equilibrium problems, you have to have a balanced equation to start with. You must, or else you can't get the correct exponents in the KC uh, uh, expression. So at this one, we have a K of C. They give us the K of C. 2.4 times 10 to the third. Now, if they give you the KC and they ask you, what are the equilibrium concentrations of NO, N2, and O2? This is what we're going to figure out. You need an ice table. Ice, initial change in equilibrium. Ice. And they're all about the concentrations. Now, we could do this one in KP if we wanted to. However, they're asking us for KC. They asked us for, uh, I'm sorry, they're asking us for the concentrations, not the pressures. But you could convert KC to KP. If they said, what are the uh, equilibrium pressures of these three gases? You just change it to KP and do the same work with pressures. So let's do this. It tells me that the initial concentration of NO is 0.200 molar. And it says nothing about the others, so I'm going to assume zero. What is the change in in terms of x to get to an equilibrium? Well, this one's going to be leaving, so it's a minus something. Minus what? Very good. Minus 2x. For every one of the N2s or one of the O2s appearing, you are losing two of the NOs. So you have 2x. You with me? Negative 2x. And then these, of course, are appearing as positive x and positive x. Now, that means that this one must be 0.200 molar minus 2x. This one must be x, and this one must be x. Are you with me on this? Let's plop that into an equation. Uh, K sub c, which by the way, I know is 2.4 times 10 to the third, third mole, uh, 2.4 times 10 to the third, and that must equal x squared on top, because it's x times x, divided by, 0.200 molar minus 2x. Now you take your super duper. You're the second, right? Second. You are a beautiful person. Thank you. Yes. Because our expression, and I should have written that out. Thank you for saying so. Because it's got to be N2, O2, uh, NO squared. Good job. Don't you want to put those brackets as well? No, once you got it in numbers, okay. you're just doing math. Yeah. Brackets mean molarity. Numbers mean start uh, plopping your calculator. So this is where the calculator that is, you know, your normal CASIS or whatever is going to be super cool. Because you can just plop this in and say, what is X, can't you? That's what you should do. Um, do you have a math class where you have one of those calculators? Uh, yes, kind of. Okay, I'm saying you could bring that calculator here and do this work, right? But no, I don't have one for that class. There's a few that probably just oh, yeah, bring right? it after, you know, just bring it in there. I thought that's what I was saying. Oh, you just use it in class? You don't have one for home? Mm -hmm. Okay, understandable. Well, there's various to others, yeah. Excellent. They probably loan you one? Well, we need, um, you can do this, this is the type of work you can do by factoring it out, but it's a lot harder. I'll give you a trick to make it easier, um, but it's a lot harder. Now, this is a pretty big KC, is it not? 
Did I write it down correctly? Yes. If this is much bigger than one, so this is a big KC, so it really makes a difference. Uh, the change in is going to make a big difference. Yes. Would, uh, would we have to like, uh, like uh, accurate out and stuff like that if it's like on the actual test? No, you're going to have your calculator on the you test. Know, like, yes. Oh yes. Okay. Totally. No, you don't have it for the multiple choice. But you, they won't have you do an ice table on the multiple choice. Okay? The equilibrium problem, you're going to have your calculator to do this. So I'm trying to make it easy on you. Somebody give me this number, please. 10.09899. So? What's that? The other one, they got two answers. Yeah. Good. Give me them both. What's the first one? Nine eight nine nine eight. Oh, eight nine sorry. It's like just repeating. <laughs> it's just repeating. Nine eight nine eight nine eight. Okay, I'm gonna go like this then. Okay, so that is x. So what that means is, oh, what's the other one? One oh one oh three. One point. Wait, point one oh one oh. Okay, so you have two possibilities, and one of them's not negative, right? 